7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage P120, décollage. La propulsion est nominale, le pilotage est calme. Le pilotage est calme, la trajectoire est nominale. Acquisition de la télémesure par la station de Saint-Jean. How fantastic to see Vegas Sea roaring across that equatorial sky. Yet again, one can't take one's eyes off her. It's so impressive, like a boil of light rumbling across the jungle. This is, of course, the second launch of Vegas Sea, Europe's new launcher, and it has just successfully completed liftoff with Pleiad Neo 5 and 6 on board. These two satellites, designed by Airbus Defence and Space, are the 119th and 120th to lift off on a Vega launcher. And we will, of course, be following the different stages of this flight very closely. David, I turn to you. What are the main stages of the flight we should be looking out for in the next few minutes? So in a little less than one minute, the P-130 first stage will have finished its job and it will separate from the launcher. And then the the second uh, this is the, the the second flight of this P120 stage uh, uh, following the the maiden flight and it will also be used on on Ariane 6 later on. Well, before the announcement of the separation of the P120, just one word, sur this a reaction, Wendy. It's always amazing, David. Yes. A word. <laughs> yes, yes, it's always uh, incredible to see the, the liftoff. There we go. So now we have... Yes, Separation du P120 et allumage du Zephyro 40. There we have it. The separation of the P120, which we see very clearly. We've seen it, saw it very clearly. Well, he, the DDO has just confirmed the separation of the first stage. So if I've understood correctly, the P120, uh, David, is just one of the new features of this new launcher, am I right? Yes, so besides this uh, first stage, uh, the second and the fourth stages, so the Sephiro 40 and the Avum, have also been improved, increasing their propellant capacity and, and therefore the, the overall launcher performance. And also... Very important, the fairing volume has been increased, allowing the launcher to, to accommodate uh, larger satellites. Well, Vega C is starting to lighten its weight and separate from its first stage, the P120. What is the next step for the European launcher? So in a few seconds, uh, the Sephiro 40 stage uh, will have finish, finished also <laughs> its job and it will also separate from the launcher. And the third stage, the set nine will ignite and continue the mission. Wendy, turning to you, you explained to us earlier the incredible hard work that Airbus Defence and Space Teams have put into getting Pleiad Neo 5 and 6 airborne today and en route to their destination. But it's tonight that everything starts for them, isn't it? Yes, you're entirely right. It's a relay between the teams involved in developing the satellite and those who will be operating the constellation. And first things first, in the next minutes and hours, we'll assess will assess that both satellites are fully operational. This means checking telemetry, checking the successful deployment of the solar panels and so on. It's an in-depth check to make sure everything is nominal. Once that's done, we'll turn on the camera, which was one of the most fragile instruments. Um, we see that there's a problem with the, the trajectory. David, can you tell us? Uh, yes. So there seems to be a, an issue with, uh, with the launcher, yes. So we stand by to, to get more information. So could you tell us exactly, we can see on the, the, 
the graph in front of us, we can see that the trajectory, it seems to be going maybe, is it going off course? You, can you tell me? No. Yes, yes, indeed, the, the altitude, it seems uh, to be lower than expected. So the altitude, we're at 107 kilometers. Have you got any news from us, from Kuru, in your earpiece? No, not for the time being. Uh... So, what you, in this type of situation, what, what, how would you interpret this? What, what might have happened, what could happen? Okay, for the time being, um, we're, we're waiting to get uh, more precise information on... Sorry, David, you were saying you're still waiting for news in your earpiece, is that That's right? That's right, yeah. In your long career, have you already um, had a, a problem such as this, perhaps? Yes, yes, indeed, uh, there, is, uh, there have been uh, issues before, yes. Okay. Well, it was a very spectacular liftoff. We can see the DDO, um, they seem very focused and still concentrated, trying to work out the problem. Um, we can still see, I don't have his name tonight, Mr. DDO, he's talking to... David, we're still waiting for news from you. I don't think yes, you have anything to give us yet. No, we do not have. Well, all I can say is that um, if we do have to go off the air, we will, of course, be giving you an update on all our social networks, and um, we will be keeping you updated with what's happening. We can see, once again, everybody, uh, yeah, we can see the, uh, the VIPs standing around waiting to hear. À tous de DDO, suite à accident lanceur, que tous les moyens restent activés pour une mise en configuration d'arrêt de la base de lancement. What does that mean, David? What has uh, the DDO just announced to us? Yeah, so they did you announce that there was indeed a, an issue with the, with the launcher, and so uh, everybody's uh, standing by to on the launch base to to see what uh, the exact what the next situation step is. is. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, they certainly look very very focused. What can you tell us? about what your idea of the, the problem might be? It's hard to tell for the timing, for the time being without, without additional information, but uh, what we saw is that, yes, during the, the flight of the second stage, uh, there seemed to be a, an issue with, uh, with this, uh, with this uh, stage. Well, we might have to um, shut down our live sequence in a minute, but we're still waiting. We're still waiting news. We're still very hopeful. And um, we hope that the problem is going to be resolved. So can you describe to us, perhaps, David, to... We're going to perhaps try and um, get Stefan back and get him wired up, and then maybe he can explain to us what is the, the problem? Maybe, David, you could just explain to us what we're seeing up on the screen. Where are we here exactly? So yeah, this so is the, uh, this is the Jupiter room. So obviously uh, people are, 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 are waiting to get uh, more, uh, more information, information. On, the, on the issue. Um, and uh, yes, indeed, we will have some... Because all these people who are here, they're all the VIPs, they're every, a lot of representatives from all the different Yes, groups. Beh behind the, the glass panels, yes, they're the, the, 
That's what we call the fishbowl. Yes, inside there is the there are the people following the launch and all the the authorities of the launch. Outside is the the public and guests that are invited for the launch. Yes. Well, we are still waiting for some news of the launcher, which um, has had um, a slight problem, but we will be. F We're hopefully going to get some news on that shortly. Uh, I've, ju I've, just, I've just heard, well, I've just heard, yes, that on Road to Space, that Stefan Israel is now going to um, come back and talk to us again and explain to us the problem. Yes. So um, after the liftoff and, and the nominal, uh, the nominal uh, initiation of the P120C, which is the first stage of the Vega, uh, an under pressure has been observed on the Zephyro 40, which is the second stage of the Vega. And after this under pressure, we have observed the deviation of the trajectory and a very strong anomaly. So uh, unfortunately, uh, we can say that the mission is uh, lost. And uh, I want to deeply uh, apologize uh, towards uh, our customer, uh, Playan Neo and Airbus Defense and Space for uh, this uh, failure tonight. And we will now have to work with all our partners uh, to better understand why uh, the Zephyro 40 uh, has not uh, worked properly tonight. Uh, triggering the failure of the mission. So we are going now immediately with all the teams, with our prime view, and uh, all the partners to uh, study uh, what has happened tonight. And I really apologize for this uh, anomaly. Thank you, Stefan.